Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when are you when you're checking this out. Thank you so much for being in here live and if you're watching the replay. Today we're talking about calcification and the dangers. And I have some windows to close, it looks like. <laughs> okay, so calcification is is dangerous and it's super important for us to learn about and understand. And um use our knowledge for power so that's what we're talking about today a heart attack stroke a number of different issues when it comes to soft tissue around calcification which is exactly what i'm going to explain so let us know in the comments who is in here live i always like to know where you're watching from what city what town what place are you at and um we're gonna get into it so much for being in here Sorry. Give me two seconds and we will make sure we got Tina's in here and a handful of people I can't see right now, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to start off with the exact definition of calcium. So you have an idea, or sorry, of calcification. So you have it exactly, you know exactly what it is. Now this is most of my shows. <laughs> Those of you that come in here, so I guess I suppose we, we're having a bunch of new people coming in. More and more people are coming to our groups. I feel like we hit a stream where we're getting regular people into, whether that's listening to podcasts or listening to our live shows in our private group. So we're excited about that. If you're not sure who we are, who I am, my name is Drew. <laughs> that sounds funny to say, but uh, my wife and I in a small team, uh, small but mighty, we run a company called True Form, True Form Life, and we do. It's a we're a holistic company, and we specialize in holistic nutrition, fitness, supplementation, and um, we're really passionate about sharing information with you. So hopefully, uh, you get something out of this. If anyone is watching and you know someone that can learn or should be interested in this show in particular, you can tag them in the comments. We really appreciate that in helping us grow. Otherwise, um, we're going to get into it. We do a live every Friday, or sorry, every Monday in this group. It's Monday. It's, it's family day. <laughs> it's uh, we. If you run your own business or if you're an entrepreneur, you know every day is the same. We've just started taking weekends off for family time. Some people are still like, hey, 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 where are you? <laughs> we're like, it's family time. That's newer for us after 10 years, um, but we're always working. We're always working in some way or another, so even though it's a holiday, here we are. So we try to go live every single Monday in this group. And then we have another group that's more directed towards nutrition and starting to do more fitness stuff in that group. That's live every Friday. So if that's um, beneficial or if that's of interest to you, let us know if you're not in that group and we'll get you in there as well. Let's see who we got in here. We got my mom's in here. Nikki's in here. Manuel is in here. Michelle, Tina, Judy, Louise. Sharon's from High River. She carries some of our products as a brand partner. If you're in that area, you should contact her and she can help you out. Karen's in here. Jackie, Rebecca. All right, we got a great group in this morning. Okay, so let me start off with taking my tea bags out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was going to say. If you're newer to these shows, we are not that serious. We talk about serious topics, but my gosh, you know, like I'm like more getting more and more into finance and I'm like, can I talk to someone who's not incredibly boring? <laughs> so we like to have fun and I like to laugh and we like to have these shows to be interactive. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you've been working for, with us for a while or a long term customer, you'll notice some of them give me a hard time which is all good. Okay, I'm gonna, I just want, I thought I would explain calcification. I was like, well, why don't I just read this so you have a better idea? And this might be a bit sciencey, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm gonna break it down into my own explanation and help you learn a bit more about it. Calcification happens when calcium builds up in body tissue, blood vessels or organs. So that's where the real concern is, not when it builds up in bones. That's a more of a natural process. This buildup can harden and disrupt your body's natural processes like blood flow <laughs> to and from your heart, which is why I was talking about heart attack, stroke, etc. Calcium is transported through the bloodstream. It also, it's also found in every cell. 
As a result, calcification can occur in almost any part of the body, which isn't always a good thing. According to the natural, or sorry, the National Academy of Medicine, which is a trusted source, 99% of your body body's calcium is in your teeth and bones, again, where, where it should be. Well, the other 1% is in blood, muscles, or fluid outside of the cells. Let's see, what does this say? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I don't like these super scientific stuff, so give me a second here. Some disorders cause calcium to de deposit where it doesn't typically, typically belong over time. This can add up and cause problems. So, okay, that's the problems we're going to talk about today. And th that this is important because of this age range where we work with, like mainly a roughly 40 to 60 year old women in particular. And this is where more calcification problems or concerns start to show up on and in our bodies. So that's important to understand that a lot of times people aren't really concerned about this stuff early on. And now it's like, oh, I gotta make a change. Things are happening in my body. I don't know what's going on. This may be one of them. So when we look at, I want to talk about causes of calcification because if we know what's causing it, we can talk about solutions, prevention and treatment. I'm a big prevention fan. I look at prevent, well, the first number of years we started in business, I always talked about prevention and that wasn't like sexy or like interesting. People are like prevention, like that's 10 years, that's 20 years. But once you get into chronic pain talk, that's when people are like, oh, that's happening to me right now. So unfortunately, that's the way the world, world works. Good morning, Karina. And Candice jumped in here as well. Okay. So when it comes to when it, when it comes to causes of calcification, one of them in particular, and I get this question all the time, how do I balance my hormones? So if you look at cortisol, now many of us have heard of cortisol. Many of us know what it is, but we don't know what's causing like what the damage it's doing. So when we work with our individual clients, I can tell you for a fact, one of the main things that's holding them back from seeing more results, and even though we see incredible results, they could see even more results if they manage their cortisol levels. Now I hear all the time, can you talk about hormones? Can you help me balance my hormones? What's going on with my hormones? It's perimenopause, um, um, just in that particular uh, menopausal state is, hormones are out of whack and they're kind of all over the place. Well, in my opinion, this is built up cortisol levels over years and that's from stress. So we see different, everyone's different in our, I'm talking about our metabolism accelerator program, everyone's different. We see um, ups and downs. In most cases, we're looking for a slow decrease in weight along with other types of benefits like more energy, improved digestion, dropping inches, burning body fat, increased metabolism, so you're more hungry, which is a good thing. That's, that's from a different subject. Let me stick with what we're going with here. With those cortisol levels continue to increase, once we hit that menopausal state, it's like a whole different ball game. Your body is a different, like your body is going through a whole lot of different things. But again, in my opinion, that's built up cortisol levels that is causing calcification in our body, which is where we run into those more serious issues. So we have to start controlling our cortisol levels now. Okay, how do you do that? Or, or let me take a step back. Those cortisol levels continue to increase and we don't, they increase and we don't have that balance, uh, that hormonal balance that we're looking for. And the number one way to do that is to reduce the stress in your life. Now, the number one thing you can do to reduce reduce stress and decrease those cortisol levels is exercise. And what happens during the most stressful time in your life? You don't exercise. <laughs> so if you want to start making changes in your life, reduce stress levels, you need to start exercising. That's it, that's all there is to it. That will help with arthritis, which we'll talk about later in the show. That will help with osteoporosis, which we're all going through. Like some people message me and say, I've been diagnosed with osteoporosis. Well, osteoporosis is at different levels, but the main, I mean, the very root of that word is um, decreasing bone mass. And after we hit a certain age, I don't know what that age is, it's quite early, 25, 30, our bone mass starts to, um, we have less and less bone mass as we age. And one of the things that we can do is exercise, right? That's why we're so passionate about exercising. We have seen people, we have, we've had people seen incredible results with just nutrition. And we're nutrition heavy. We do a lot around ingredients, balancing macros, counting calories. We do that for our clients. 
And we have a lot of people that say, oh, I just want to do nutrition or I don't really want to work out or um, I'm good with workouts. I just need nutrition. We could do that, but I don't want to go down that ro road because I don't think you'll get the full value. Like you don't get the full benefits of just eating well, maybe dropping some weight and feeling better and not dealing with it with those underlying issues of osteoporosis, of calcification, of stress continuing to build up, of cortisol levels being unbalanced. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've been talking a lot. So that's why it's so important and that's why we're so adamant about we're not doing just fitness. Our goal is to help improve your lifestyle as a whole and it's to help you keep those results. If you're just dabbling in supplements and maybe you're just starting with supplements, that's okay. But if you're just dabbling in supplements, you're just dabbling in nutrition, you're not necessarily working out or it could be the opposite, right? You're not, you're, you're, you're working out, but you're not following. We see that quite a bit actually working out a bit more consistently, not following a proper nutrition plan. Then you run into these types of issues. And I'm going to explain here the importance of uh, different vitamins and how to how vitamins work together you stack vitamins together and they help benefit one another you increase absorption you increase results instead of like kind of picking and choosing and like oh i heard i should take a magnesium and calcium no you shouldn't i heard i should take a calcium pill probably not i'll get into that in a moment here but let me know in the comments if this is hitting home for anyone is anyone does anyone feel a stress relief when they are exercising? Let me know in the comments. Or maybe you're not exercising at all. No judgment. <laughs> oh, I lost, hey, get back here. Oh, there we go. I thought I lost comments. Amy jumped in here, Leanne's in here, Tracy's in here. Okay, Tracy's a distributor in our uh, Red Deer area. She does Red Deer Sylvan. She's been fantastic with us for years. <clears throat> if you're in this Red Deer Sylvan area, she'll meet you. She has an, almost all of our products, I think. So, and um, then we also have Brenda. She's in the Carstairs Didsbury area. She manages the farm table. So if you're in that area, you can message her or you can go to the farm table and grab some products. Manuela, you lost a bunch of weight, didn't you? You're, you told me, not with us, unfortunately. We can't take credit for your success, but let us know in the comments what you did or what um, results you found. Judy says walking helps me with getting my uh, with getting my headaches to settle down and not be so intense. Thanks for sharing, Judy. Do you take liquid mag for your headaches? Rebecca says exercise. What's that? <laughs> yes, exactly. I do enjoy your memes, uh, Rebecca. You always have. I don't even know where you find them or <laughs> I don't get the whole meme thing. <laughs> I have some friends that like just do memes all the time, and I'm like. Where do you get the memes? <laughs> How do you find them? Where do you get the time to do that? <laughs> Michelle lo says, loves exercise, it keeps me calm. Awesome. Rose is, um, Rose is in here, and Louise says, exercise is the best antidepressant. Yes, tons of benefits, unlimited benefits to exercise. Unfortunately, most of us just aren't doing it or consistently. Okay, let's get into the next one. So built up toxins in your body. This is something we talk about quite a bit, or this is something that we kind of specialize in, in um, detoxifying your body. I wrote a whole book about it. And I feel like that kind of launched our business. That was a bestseller in Calgary. I was all over um, bookstores in Calgary doing book signings for, I think a, a whole year. That was absolutely exhausting. But um, <laughs> we, we talk about the toxins you put in your body, the toxins you put on your body. The air you breathe, the water you drink, the toxic thoughts, the environment you're in, it's a, again, a holistic type of lifestyle, but you have to remove the toxins from your body because those toxins are one of the reasons why calcification is building up in not the right areas. So long-term exposure to heavy metals, and that's important because there's heavy metals everywhere. There's heavy metals in medication. I know people don't want to hear that. One of the reasons why we don't feel you should be on long-term medication, you should have a plan to get off that with your doctor, if possible. I try not to give medic medical advice, that's what your doctor's for, but it'd be in my opinion to understand that those, med those medicines, <laughs> that medication works great, but long-term that's putting damage on your body on some on somewhere or another, and hard metals is one of them. You could look at hard metals from the ocean so f when you're consuming fish and i'll tell you what you can do about that here in this show 
and then um, water. You could look at water, and it's crazy. Like what? Like water? We have to drink pure water. There's pesticides. Like the pesticides leach through. Like they're spraying the fields with Roundup, or we, like those people in our community. No judgment, but it drives me crazy. Like we have a toddler running around our neighborhood. <laughs> we have a bunny. <laughs> There's neighborhood dogs. I'm an animal lover, and people are out there spraying their dandelions with. Like, what do you think happens with that? It just naturally disintegrates and it's not toxic, it's toxic. And that goes into our soil and that goes into our water table. And then what happens to our water, right? So our water is negatively affected by those pesticides as well. Same thing with medication, like medication is polluting. Like people are throwing that in the toilet, um, throwing that down the sink, that is polluting our water. So we have to be drinking pure sources of water, properly filtered spring water not a huge fan of bottled water. I really dislike one use plastic bottles, but there's a lot of concerns when it comes to toxins in our body and that is causing cal calcification um, within our body. That's obviously harmful. So if we're not taking active steps to detox our body, remove toxins and avoid toxins, that's definitely gonna be a concern now. I mean, if not now, certainly in the future. Let's see what we got here. Sharon says, I just gave my friend liquid Meg in bath flakes and she said her stress and headaches disappeared for the first time in weeks. We, thanks, Sharon. We hear that quite often, actually. Like when people have chronic headaches and they start taking liquid Meg, it makes a big difference. Ed was in here last week or the week before talking about how well that's been helping with his headaches. I don't take liquid Meg. I put Magtin in my smoothies. That's good, Judy. Um, that's great. I would definitely recommend. Magtin's great for brain health. I definitely recommend liquid Meg for a more overall. Morning, Kimberly. Sharon says, I don't go a single day without liquid mag ever. Awesome. Morning, Vanda. And then Sharon says, my thoughts exactly. So, okay. Am I the only one who's heard of the toxins in the blue plastics? I can't even drink from the blue plastic water bottles yet. There's, there's new research coming out about, um, what do they call them? Microplastics from plastic water bottles that we're consuming. And I don't even think, like, there's also those plastic water bottles, like, they're not as clean as we think they're supposed to be, or as, as they claim, they're not like from the glaciers. <laughs> Radiation therapy causes calcification. That's something um, worth noting. And, and I'm not here to tell you not to do these things. I'm not saying don't do radiation. I'm not saying don't take medication. That's not my place. I just want to shine some light on what's, what's happening. Like we are in a world full of obese, depressed, miserable, um, ill people waiting in pharmacies like our doc like our doc you can't get into family doctors there's not enough of them that's the world we live in like that's our reality and i feel like and i'm not pointing any fingers i'm just saying that's how we live it's up to us to take control of our health and if everyone's doing the same thing and if everyone like i'm saying everyone the majority the masses are moving in one direction do you think it's time to start changing your mindset and going in a different direction and stand with the few that take control of their health and are exercising, properly, supplement, properly supplementing, and putting quality nutrients in their body, like probably, <laughs> it's probably a good idea to start stepping outside of your comfort zone and going a different direction if you haven't seen the results you're looking for. This actually happened with, I had a number of messages come in when I talked about fitness. It was like completely blew people's minds. If you want that show, let me know in the comments and we'll send it over. But I talked about a different way of working out and a different mindset and stop clanging around heavy weights or burpees in the, doing burpees and throwing up. Like even machines, like curves types of machines, those isolated movements. Like that's not how our bodies are supposed to, are, are meant to move. But when you offer a different mindset to people, they're so shocked, like, oh, I didn't know there was a different way. So I'm telling you that there's a different way to live. This is what we teach our clients. This is the way we live ourselves. We're in a small community of people that, and I say small, we have, we live in our own little bubble. And I think like, I see someone like a big jug of Crisco, like Crisco oil or whatever, like canola oil. And I'm like, people still buy that stuff? Because we're in their, our own little world of our own bubble. And then I see people um, drinking Diet Coke in the morning, for example, or the lineup at Tim Hortons around the block and down the street. And I'm like, like and we like we don't put the connection together, right? Like the, the lineup outside of the pharmacies and you can't get into your family doctors. Like, and everyone's doing the same thing. Like we got to start taking different action and it starts with a different mindset to um, see different results. So what I was saying is I got a bunch of messages of people saying, 
I don't have to do cardio. I don't have to lift heavy weights. <laughs> and I'm saying like we have a different philosophy when it comes to life in general, but when it comes to nutrition and supplementation and, um, and working out, it's completely different. And, and I think any of our clients that might be in here will tell you that we've seen incredible results in even a short amount of time, but then we offer sustainability as well, which is a different mindset because most people are jump in, jump off. Let me see how quickly I can get results and then go do something else. Next shiny object. Manuel said, absolutely. Morning, man. Um, okay. One of the other ones we need to look at here is, okay, this is a tough one because I th I'm pretty sure that doctors are recommending calcium supplements. I don't like to disagree with doctors because people love their doctors <laughs> and they're like like in this age group people like people do everything their doctor says like exactly what they say and we even have family members that won't, won't listen to us but if their doctor says something they'll do it <laughs> so this is a tough a, a bit a bit of a challenging subject but i'm okay with it is that in most cases those sup those calcium supplements that you're taking you may not want to be taking them <laughs> I'm not telling you you shouldn't take them. I'm saying you may you may consider not taking them. You have to look at the source, like what type of quality that's coming from, how bioavailable it is, how it's digesting, and you have to look at what what comes along with it. So when you look at magnesium, like well, let me know in the comments who takes our magnesium. Can you let me know in the com comments, please? Which would be which would be beneficial to other people that are newer here or haven't jumped on board yet. Just let, just let us know in the comments with a emoji or a yes, I do. So if you're taking magnesium, magnesium has over 300 enzymatic functions in the body. The four main reasons our customers or clients take it is for restless legs. Um, not restless legs, that's one of them. Sleep, digestion, energy, and chronic pain. Those are the four main reasons restless legs closely connected to sleep because if your legs are bouncing around all night, you're not going to sleep. So the thing is, if you're taking a calcium su supplement because your doctor told you you have osteoporosis and you need to improve your bone mass or increase your bone mass through supplementation, let's take, let's say you're taking a calcium supplement and you're taking a liquid mag or, or a magnesium supplement at the same time, the calcium wins out. Like there's only so many pores that your body can absorb at a time. And what's even worse is that some people take a one pill that's calcium and magnesium and they're just getting calcium. So people are like, well, what's the recommended daily allowance? How much you take? I don't like that doesn't matter. That's not the question you should be asking yourself. The question you should be asking yourself are what are the ingredients? What quality are you taking and what are you taking with it that could be inhibiting your absorption? So your calcium supplement is inhibiting your absorption of your magnesium. So if you're going to take calcium supplement, it's completely up to you, take them at different times. On top of that, another challenge with calcium supplements is that if they're not, okay, let me take a step back. I'll get to that in a second. If you're taking an iron, if you're low in iron, it's because your calcium is too high. Like you're, you're not balancing your, um, you're not balancing your minerals properly in your body. So more calcium equals even less um, iron absorption. And if you're taking them at the same time, guess what happens? Calcium wins out, iron drops. So if we, I just did a whole show on that. If you need that show, ask in the comments. And when I'm telling you guys to ask in the comments, you have to leave a full sentence. Please send me the iron show. Send me the fitness show. Because if you just say yes, and we check to come back to this post, um, 20 minutes, two hours, two days later, we're not going to know what you're talking about. Sherry Mix is in here. Rebecca says, um, I take liquid mag every morning. Thumbs up. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> I know you just participate. I can't stand thumbs up. They're my least favorite thing in the whole world. What? What's liquid mag? LOL. I'm a regular girl. <laughs> Nikki's been taking our liquid mag for years. And your husband, is your husband still taking it? Thanks, Nikki. Uh, Louise takes it daily. Good morning, Lorraine. Uh, yes, my mom says she takes it. Please send me the iron show. You got it, Michelle. Jody's in here. And then um, Judy asked for the egg. Yeah, you, you, I'll send you the show, Judy. Okay. So that's important to understand is that if you're taking um, uh, 
a calcium, you have to be very careful of when you take it. And then I would look at the source, the quality, other ingredients. In most cases, because they're all white, you're going to have a titanium dioxide in there. I even heard in one of my, I wrote down here, one of my points of research, silica. And we actually have a PDF. If anyone wants it, again, comment below. Um, we have a whole PDF that has 10, um, I think I did a live training too. We can send that to you as well, but 10 top ingredients you should stay away from when it comes to um, supplements. When you're looking at your supplements, you, you take this list and you go look at your supplements and if it's on there, you don't take it. But a silica was one of them that causes uh, calcification and silica is in a, a lot of, of supplements. Okay, so that's what, I, okay, I gotta move on. So when you're looking at taking your calcium pill that may your doctor may or may have not told you, or maybe you just went and took it yourself because you wanted to take, um, <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted to improve your bone mass. You gotta look at other areas, right? We could look at food, we could look at exercise. If you're looking at food in particular, you can look at dairy. Um, dairy, I'm not a huge like dairy fan for calcium, but that's at least a better food source than a supplement. We offer, like we say, for example, we count calories for our MAP members. So we look at Greek yogurt, a clean Greek yogurt with very few ingredients because of the protein content, not necessarily the calcium, but you get two, two benefits there. You could look at green leafy veggies. You could look at beans and lentils, um, fish that have the bones in them is a good calcium source and um i think that's what i cover so if you so if if you haven't next week i think i'm doing a show or this friday and the other group i'm in our other group i'm doing a show on balancing the four macros and how to balance your blood sugar levels if you're pre-diabetic or have diabetes you're going to want to check that show out but if you notice here like we believe in all the four macros so look at what I'm talking about here. Fish, healthy fats, nuts and seeds, healthy fats, beans and lentils, carb slash protein, uh, carb slash protein, dairy, protein. These are, you look at your green leafy vegetables, antioxidants. So if you balance your macros, like we teach or like what we, like we do for our clients, you have a balance, you have a well balance of calcium in your food, right? It's not like, a secret it's not a secret like what we're teaching or what we believe in if you balance your macros you have all the protein like the pro so if you're not sure macros is protein fats carbs and antioxidants those are the four macros we balance each of those in most meals throughout the day in a specific calorie count for your body weight that's what we do for our clients and that's why we've seen such amazing results but it's not just weight or energy or digestion you can look at more uh more in depth or even more serious concerns like calcification so instead of your doctor being like you need to take a calcium pill i would say you need to balance your macros so you're getting enough calcium from better cleaner more absorbable sources that are bioavailable that your body is going to use so that's very different than I say, every, you've, everyone's heard you can't out supplement a bad diet. I wouldn't say go and supplement with a bunch of low quality supplements. You have to add food into your diet, quality nutrients, and then you supplement. That's how it works. Morning, Tasha. Shelly's in here. Uh, Tracy says, Rob and I take it every day. Amy said, or Nikki says, I'd like the PDF of the toxic supplements. Uh, Brianne's in here. Yeah, okay. So the other thing I wanted to mention here is, is vitamin D. So vitamin D is a great source to help with your bones and your teeth. And we know it helps with your immune system. From the last few years, everyone jumped on the vitamin D train. Now here, let me explain a couple things. When it comes to vitamin D, you need proper magnesium levels for your vitamin D to absorb. So, and I don't know why, it's just not mainstream. It's not like, it's the, sup the natural supplement industry they're just, I feel like there's not enough information on or not clear enough. And it's not like, and I talked about this before, if you have a, a pharmaceutical, for example, that has millions, if not billions of dollars behind it, right? So they have the research and they have the advertising and they have doctor recommendations, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. We need medication in this world. The natural supplement, um, the natural supplement world doesn't have that funding. They don't have millions or billions of dollars behind. So you don't see it on 
um, like you don't like doctors are great at in most cases prescribing medication that's their knowledge that's their base that's what they do we don't unless you go to a naturopathic doctor which is few and far between most people aren't going that route you don't get that knowledge you don't see it on commercials you don't see them in pharmacies being advertised like those big signs they're paying pharmacies to put their products on those on those walls right so there's just less knowledge and there's less information that's why you're sitting here learning about this but one of the best ways to prevent calcification is vitamin K2. So let me explain. You have your vitamin D. Everyone should be taking 5,000 IUs of um, vitamin D. And that and that's in a dark, that's in a less sunshine. Like if we're in Alberta, I'm in Canada, those of you that are listening around the world. If you're spending more time outside, you may need less. But we need much more vitamin D than we think we do because we don't get natural sunlight anymore. So vitamin D, but that vitamin D isn't going to absorb if you're not taking proper magnesium levels or if you don't have proper magnesium levels. So you take your magnesium every single day, good quality source, clean ingredients to increase your magnesium levels. You can Then you will take your vitamin D and that will help with the absorption. Now, if you're taking too much vitamin D or if you have too much calcium in your diet or if you're taking... Um, those calcium pills, for example, without K2, then you run into the calcification or, or over supplementing, if you will. So that's why you need to have the K2 as a driver. So that K2 will take your, will take the calcium to your bones and teeth and to where it should go instead of the soft tissue um, arteries, which is where which is where we're looking for, or which is where we co come into the issues of high blood pressure, stroke, heart attack, etc. right? So you need you need a combination of these supplements for them to work as much as possible for you to get the, the best bang for your buck. How's that that hitting home for anyone? If you guys are in, enjoying this conversation, hit that little hearts button. It's nice to know when I'm sitting here by myself staring at a camera <laughs> that people are enjoying the show okay so 120 it's um mcgs 120 mcgs of your k2 if it's in a liquid product so we take our our um well we i don't want to i don't want to overwhelm you if you're just starting out don't like start off slowly we take vitamin D, liquid make, excuse me, liquid vitamin. <laughs> Let me try again. We take our magnesium, liquid magnesium, first thing in the morning. We take magtin in the afternoon. I know this is going to sound like a lot to some people. Scale it back if you need to. We also take a one dose of vitamin D in the morning with K2, another vi uh, dose of vitamin D and K2 in the afternoon. So we get a double hit of it. And then from there, I want to talk about chlorella today. So chlorella is super important. So chlorella is very high in K2. So I'm going to, and I'll tell you more about it here. So we take five tabs of chlorella in the morning and five tabs in the afternoon. And this is to help with calcification. It's because we have high levels of vitamin D going into our body. It's because we use spirulina and chlorella as a multivitamin. I don't really believe in multivitamins for a number of different reasons. I've talked about in the past. I can talk about it again if you like, but if anyone wants to ask. But um, I would suggest taking your <coughs> I would suggest taking your greens. Spirulina has one single ingredient. I talked about in the past show about iron. Again, if you want that show, just ask in the comments. And then we also take um, chlorella as a K2, as a multivitamin. The other thing I want to mention is, remember we talked about fish being high in, or high in iron as a natural source? Well, fish um, comes from the ocean and there's hard metals in the ocean because of all the pollution. Now we need a product like chlorella to detox the hard metals. Also, you have hard metals in water, in medication. We talked about that before. So chlorella is great for detoxing your body, supporting your immune system. It has over 40 vitamins and minerals. It is absolutely essential to your health. So when we take chlorella, ours is organic. It's cold pressed. It is the, crack, it is the cell walls are cracked 
through sound, which is super cool. These are grown in fresh water, not in the ocean. So you don't have that ocean pollution. They're grown in fresh water. One single ingredient. These are super bioavailable. Your body digests them almost instantly. Our little guy, he chews them. <laughs> every morning, every morning when we have our greens, he gets his. And he just chews them because he doesn't eat sugar. He doesn't know the difference of food or supplements <laughs> that don't have sugar in them. So when you're looking at your overall supplementation, most people don't get enough greens. So remember when I talked about some natural sources of calcium here, I said green, green leafy veggies. That's the antioxidant that most people are missing. You can help get that through chlorella and spirulina. Um, we talked about the toxins, like we talked about one of the main um, toxins with calcification or main sources or reasons of calcification is toxins and those toxins cause inflammation so you see you, you've seen people like um our maybe grandparents that have those big knuckles from arthritis that's from our that's from inflammation that inflammation comes from lifestyle from inactivity and i'm not putting grandma down here but that comes from inactivity that comes from rancid oils that comes from low quality food so we need to start paying attention to what we're putting in our body as early as possible so we don't run into so much of those arthritis or so much like that osteoporosis. You know, as we age, you great grandma or grandpa fell down, broke his hip, he's got weak bones, right? We gotta do something about that now so we don't get into that situation later on in life. So um, hopefully that's been helpful. What vitamin D, K2 do you take? I'll post a picture. I get, um, I get that question all the time. Um, I would suggest, well, I'll post a picture, okay? That question, I knew that question was gonna come, which is fine. We got Paula's in here. Morning, Paula, we're just gonna wrap up here. And then it says, how many uh, chlorella tabs do you take when you have, we take, it doesn't really change for us. Like we take five chlorella, chlorella tabs in the late morning and then five around supper time or after supper. Um, so we take 10 a day. That may seem like a lot to, to you guys, like to the average person, I don't know. Um, I would suggest taking at least five a day. So for us, like we work at prevention, right? If you're gonna have fish and that's the only time you wanna take chlorella, then take five before you eat fish, if that's an easy one for you. But again, we look at prevention and over, like overall toxins, hard metals, um, what everything that's going on in our life. And we're not in control of everything. That's why we look at activated charcoal, like activated charcoal before bed to remove all the toxins even though we live, try to live as healthy as possible, we're consuming toxins. Like we're putting some type of oxidation, some type of damage on our cells just by living because of the world we live in. It's not the cleanest, healthiest, most positive world we live in. And I think we all know that. Um, so I'm gonna offer you guys a discount for the chlorella. So if you guys want chlorella, let me know in the comments and we'll give you a discount code. Um, it's, that's only gonna be available for a day or two. That's only going to be for those that are watching the show. We don't normally do discounts on the greens. The greens sell like absolute, like they sell bonkers. They sell like crazy, our greens. We did a sale on spirulina. That's over now on the last show. And the reason we're doing that because we want to encourage you guys to come and learn. Like come in and learn, understand about supplementation, understand what you're putting in your body. So we only do our sales currently. We've, we've only been doing sales or discounts for people that are watching these shows live or watching the replay within a short time afterwards. So if you want to try chlorella and you want the discount code, let me know in the comments and we'll send you a message. And once we send you that, you have to check your DMs. You, you have to, like sometimes people message me a week later because they didn't see the message and they're like, hey, is that still on? It's not because I'll tell you why is <laughs> because we set that coupon code in the website. So you have to go to the website. You have to put in the coupon code in the coupon area. And then once that expires, it's over. It takes a ton of work for us to go back in there, create a new coupon code for one person, and then um, have it expire. So, um, that, and then sometimes people don't use the code in the coupon area. They, oh, I forgot, can I get that discount? And we're like, we gotta figure out like refunds and it's a huge mess, especially now when we have, very fortunate, so grateful for you guys. Now we have a, a, an, a, an audience of people ordering products every day. Before, I tell you, we've been doing this for 12 years. We had products, we used to get uh, sales once a month. 
<laughs> then we get a sale like every couple weeks and then we got a sale every week and then it, now it's every day and it's multiple every day so we're very fortunate to be in the position we're in today but we need your help like to help us make it more this the process smooth like when we have pickup we have pickup orders for local people and we really like we want to offer that but it's people forget to pick up their orders or they um uh, they want to change the date at the last minute like then we got to put them back in the circle. So, like, I mean, at some point, we probably have to just be shipping or just be um, retail. And I don't think we'll go retail at this point. So it may just be shipping. At any rate, hopefully that, <laughs> that helped. Maybe you're not interested in the back end. So uh, hopefully that was clear enough. Hopefully that was helpful. If you guys could do me a big favor, if there's one person you think could benefit, benefit from this show, if you could tag them in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. Um, that helps us grow organically, which is way better than paid advertising, in my opinion. Amy says, I just got mine. Awesome. So everyone that said I would like the chlorella discount, we will send you a, a private message. Um, otherwise, I'm going to let you go. You have to use the coupon code within a day or two, and then you have to use the coupon code in the website on the website where it asks to. I hope that's clear enough. We've put in a lot of time and effort, a lot of investment into our website to make it run smoothly as possible. So hopefully that's, um, hopefully we're doing a good job of that. Any other questions? I think I've, that's all I have. Uh, this is a super important topic, you guys. Pay attention to the calcium, the calcification that's happening in your body, especially in women. Used, it used to be just men with heart attacks, heart disease, um, Oh, heart attacks in particular. Now, I think it's either 50-50 or women are having more heart attacks than men now. And you could look at something like calcification, your diet, your supplementation, and what you're not taking to improve your health. So I really hope that you guys take action on this information and, and find a way to improve your health with one step or another to make that happen. Thank you all so much for being here live. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching the replay. Um, if you're not in our other group, send us a message or let us know. We're going to talk about diabetes and um, balancing your blood sugar levels on Friday live. So, and then do we have a special offer? Uh, do we, think we might have a special offer at the end of that show too. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.